Hi everyone, my name is Oliver and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a 2x2 Rubik's Cube for beginners. Okay, first before we actually start mixing up the Rubik's Cube, we need to know a few things. First thing is that yellow is opposite to white, orange is opposite to red, and blue is opposite to green. Now knowing that, let's mix up the Rubik's Cube. Okay, I would say that's pretty mixed up. So the first step to solving the Rubik's Cube is solving the white face. I always start by looking at the piece with the logo on it and I just start by that. So I have the piece with the logo on the top and now I'm going to fill in these three spaces around it. So first we look for any pieces on this row because if we want to get a piece up there we have to have them on this row. So say we wanted to get a piece up there we need to have the white piece on here or here to get up there. So we're going to look for anything on this row. Okay, it doesn't look like we have anything in that row. So, we let's look at this row now. So we can't put up there because it's there, so we have to get it down there. So this piece is red and green. We have to get it there because it's next to red. So how to get it off the top row and get it into this row, you bring it down, then out of the way, and then just bring it back up. And now it's on the bottom. The bottom is better than the top row. So now we want to get from the bottom up to this row. So we already know where it goes. It goes here. So we've got to get it that white piece under the piece it needs to go. So we put it there. And then what you do is you turn so it goes to the back. The white piece goes to the back. It's at the back now. Turn it two times any direction. One, two, the bottom row. Now you see it's on this row. Now what we do is we put it in the right spot there because it needs to go under it so it's there under it and now what we do since it's on the left we pull it to the right we bring it down bring it back and up. Now see we've got this piece right. Now let's look for the next piece. Looks like this piece is already in. So we find where it goes orange and blue that means it goes here. It's already in the right spot. Since on the right this time, we go left, bring down, back, up. Now we got this piece in. Last piece, it's already in the right spot. Put it there. Go, since on the right, left, down, back, up. Now, the white face is successfully solved. Now we're going to go through the cases that the yellow can be. Here is one of the cases the yellow can be. Where there's one stripe of yellow at the back and then a stripe of yellow at the top. Yeah, and what you do in this case is you do you hold the stripe of yellow at the back and that one on the top. Yep. Yeah. And then what you do is you bring up the right Turn it left, bring down the right, turn it left again, bring up the right, turn it left twice, then bring down the right. Now this should bring you to another case, where you got one stripe at the back again, and two dots on either side of yellow. Now what you do is you hold the stripe at the back, and the yellow dot there. So not the, stripe at, not the stripe at the front, you hold the stripe at the back and you do the same thing again. You go up the right, turn left, down the right, turn left again, up right, turn left twice, and down right. Now it brings you to another case, this case. What you do in this case is the exact same thing again, just holding a different way. You hold it with this square here on the right and then this square on the left top. If it's like a square here and then a top on the top, or you have both, that's a completely different thing. We'll go over that after. First, if it's only there and there. Now, what we do, the exact same thing again. Up the right, turn left down the right, turn left again, up right, turn left twice, and down right. Now we have successfully solved the yellow and the white. 
So now we have the yellow and the white successfully solved. I'm going to go over what to do next after. Because most cases lead to this solution. So I'm just going to go over that after all the cases. Here's another case the yellow could be. If you have one one of them here, one on the one facing you on the right and then top on the left and then so it's like and then one on the left facing you. So it's like that. Yeah, don't worry about this one. Just imagine that. Yeah? If you have that case, then this uh, these are the steps you do. So what you do is you hold it so you've got the left one facing you, not the right one. Yeah? And what you do is you go up the right, turn left, down the right, turn left again, up right, turn left twice, and down the right. Now, it has bring, brought you to the other case. Another, this is another case where you have the one on the left and the one on the top, but you don't have this one on the right. So what you do, you do the exact opposite of that. You bring up the right, up the left, turn right, down the left, turn right again, up to the right, turn left twice, no, turn right twice, and bring down the left. Now you've solved the white and the yellow, and that's that's where you should be. And I'm gonna can, as I said before, I'm gonna continue going over what what you do if you solve the yellow and the white after. Here is another case you could have where you have two stripes of yellow on each side. What you do on this case is you hold the stripes of yellow to, outwards to the sides, and you do this procedure. Up the right, turn left, down the right, turn left again, up the right, turn left twice, and down the right. Now it brings you to this one again. All you do is the exact same thing. Up the right, turn left, down the right, turn left again, up the right, turn left twice, and down the right. Another case you could have is a stripe of yellow at the back and two dots facing away from each other. The way you solve this one is you hold the two dots facing away from each other, and up, what you do is you go up the right, turn left, down the right, turn left, up the right, turn left twice, and down the right. Then you at this case again, so you just do this. Then you're at this case, so you just do that. And now you're at the yellow and white, which I'm about to show you how to solve. So that is all the cases gone through. You might not have started what I started with and already started with one of the cases that led to another case. So you just start from there. Now, what happens when you've got the yellow and the white solved? So what you do is you first check for any sides that make up. So you've got three sides. So I have, I have a side that makes up. But let's just pretend I don't. Let's pretend I don't have a side that matches up. And they're all random colours and I don't have a full another side. So I only have the yellow and the white. So what I do is this. And this is what you do if you have them as well. But first, let's just go over this. So if you just have these two, do this. If you've got a side, don't do this. So if you've got the yellow and the white only, not a full another side, just do this. Hold the white facing you, the yellow facing away. And what you do is you bring down the right, turn left, bring down the right again, pull the bottom left twice, bring up the right, turn right, down the right, bottom twice, the right twice, and now you should have both sides solved, but you should have the third side now. As you can see, I have a third side. I have blue, yellow, white. So what I do now, I have three sides, I just do the exact same thing again. So, I, But I hold the, the side I have complete at the bottom, white facing towards us, yellow facing away at the bottom. So what I do is I do the exact same thing again. 
bring down the right, turn left, down the right, bottom left, twice, up the right, turn right, down the right, bottom left twice, up right twice, turn, and your Rubik's Cube should be completed. I hope this video has helped you solve a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube.